Nice launch check down countdown net. Pad is clear. 10, 9, 8, Launch auto sequence seven, has started. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go for launch. Stage separation confirmed. Dragon separation confirmed. Stage one is transonic. Landing legs have deployed. And Falcon 9 has landed. Good evening on the West Coast. You're looking at Falcon 9 standing ready for liftoff from Vandenberg Space Force Base's Space Launch Complex 4 East at 11.38 p.m. Pacific Time. You're watching the webcast for Eros C3 on behalf of our customer ImageSat International, or ISI, an Israeli-based company specializing in collecting, analyzing, and creating space-based intelligence. My name is Jesse Anderson, and I'm a production engineering manager here at SpaceX. The Aero C3 mission marks SpaceX's 61st launch of 2022 and our last as we head into the new year. Today's payload is part of the Eros new generation seven satellite constellation, one of the world's top intelligence gathering assets in space. Now to date, three of the seven satellites are fully operational and Eros C3 will be the fourth to orbit. Now we'll learn more about its capabilities a bit later in the webcast. Now at T minus eight minutes, the range is green. Weather is 30% chance of violation. The vehicle and payload are healthy. And as the countdown continues, let's take a moment to learn more about our launch vehicle. Now Falcon 9 is our two-stage rocket. It stands 230 feet or 70 meters tall, which is roughly the height of a 20-story building. Now the bottom two thirds of the vehicle is the first stage and the primary part of the rocket that gets reused again and again. Today will be the 11th flight for this particular booster, having previously launched three Dragon missions, two transporter rideshare missions, SXM-8, XB, Global Star FM-15, and two Starlink missions. Now at the bottom of the first stage, there are nine Merlin engines that will get Falcon 9 off the ground and up into the thinner parts of the Earth's atmosphere. The two stages will separate from one another. The second stage will continue to orbit while the first stage will make its way back down to Earth for its landing attempt back on land today. If successful, today's launch will mark the 160th successful recovery of an orbital class Energy rocket, chill. including Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy boosters. Now, as for the second stage, it will ignite its single Merlin vacuum, or what we call the MVAC engine, about two and a half minutes into flight. It's, this is the engine that will take the Eros C3 spacecraft into its intended orbit. Our payload today is safely enclosed inside of, its, of the 17-foot diameter payload fairing, which is that structure on the very top of the rocket. This protects the satellites from aerodynamic heating, loads, and contamination during ascent. Now, once we reach the vacuum of space, we no longer need this protection, so we Stage will... One, RP1, we will jettison the fairing halves while the second stage continues to orbit. ISI takes the next step in space-based intelligence solutions with the launch of its game-changing Eros C3 satellite. For two decades, ISI has combined cutting-edge technology and advanced analytical capabilities to deliver one-stop shop solutions for diverse commercial, defense, and security applications worldwide. ISI satellite imagery revealed China's deployment of new missile batteries on Woody Island in the South China Sea. As the evergreen container ship halted global trade, ISI satellite imagery helped experts see the bigger picture. Following Russian attacks on the airport, high-resolution ISI imagery showed how infrastructure had been reduced to rubble, including the world's largest cargo plane. ISI's data analysis of satellite images detected 15 landing strips hidden in Brazil's Amazon rainforest that may serve illegal activities like drug and weapons trafficking. 
At ISI, we are providing our customer with holistic intelligence as a service solution for the entire geospatial value chain, from observation services to AI-based analytics. The ROC3 will announce our capabilities with industry-leading multispectral resolution, offering unprecedented accuracy and insights to both our commercial and defense customers. Today, Eros C3 will take its place in the Eros NG constellation. Tomorrow, its data will be used to defend against new threats and reveal more about the world we live in. ISI, space-based intelligence solutions, making the world a better, safer place. T-minus 15 seconds. 10, 9, Ocho, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. one. Ignition and lift off. We have Falcon a nine and the arrow three minutes. Vehicles pitching down range. And what the chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base's Space Launch Complex 4 East. Nominal power and telemetry. Carrying the Aero C3 payload. Now during ascent, we do tilt the engines, which is called gimbling, and that turns the rocket horizontally. Vehicle supersonic. And that's what we call a gravity turn. And we are throttling down the engines in preparation for Max Q right now. Max Q. And there we have now passed through max Q or the maximum aerodynamic pressure. It's the largest structural load that the vehicle sees on ascent. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to be, in order to avoid being pulled back, back down to earth and get into orbit. So you can keep an eye out on the stage one telemetry. We now have six events coming up here in quick succession. That'll be Miko stage separation, stage one flip, SCS one or second stage start engine start one, uh, the boost back burn startup on first stage and fairing separation. And those events are coming up here in just less than 30 seconds. Again, that's Miko our main engine cutoff, stage separation, stage one flip, that MVAC engine will start up on the second stage. And then we will have a boost back burn on the first stage and then shortly followed by a fairing separation on the second stage. Eco. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. Stage one boost pack start up. Bearing separation confirmed. And some great views of all of those events. Again, that was Miko's stage separation, stage one flip and boost back burn starting up. SES-1 with that MVAC engine on your right-hand screen lighting up and fairing deploy. Now we are in the boost back burn and this should be ending shortly here. And as you saw on your left-hand screen... Stage 1 boost back shut down. And there's the call out that the boost back burn on the first stage has concluded. And now what you're seeing on your screen is a great view of the MVAC engine on the second stage. Now
Now it is T plus four minutes into launch. And in order to complete today's land landing, the first stage has two more burns left. Next up is the entry burn, and that's where three of the Merlin engines will reignite, and this helps to slow the stage down as it re-enters into the upper part of the Earth's atmosphere. Now that entry burn... Vehicles on nominal trajectory. Great callouts there, both vehicles looking nominal. That entry burn that I mentioned is just about a couple minutes away from now for the first stage. Again, we are scheduled to land on land today, so the first stage is doing three burns. That is the boost back burn, entry burn, and then there is a landing burn for that vehicle. Now the first stage does have four hypersonic grid fins that help steer the vehicle during descent. And what you are seeing on your screen is the MVAC engine burning very bright there. The MVAC engine is optimized for the vacuum of space and has about 220,000 pounds of thrust. Very powerful rocket there. We are just about a minute away from the first stage entry burn. As a reminder, this is our 61st and final SpaceX launch of 2022. Stage two is currently carrying the Eros C3 payload. And we are coming up here on that entry burn on the first stage in just a few seconds. Again, that will be three of nine M1D engines reigniting. And there you can see it on your left-hand screen that those engines have ignited. Stage one entry burn startup. Now this burn is about 20 seconds or so long. Stage one entry burn shut down. And Stage one FTS is saved. As you heard and saw on your left-hand screen, those engines have shut down. That concludes the entry burn for the first stage. Coming up next in less than a minute is the landing burn of that first stage. The first stage does have four landing legs stowed at the base of the vehicle, and they will deploy just seconds before touching down for landing. And that landing burn is about 30 seconds from now and will be just the center E9 engine. That one single engine has enough thrust to slow the vehicle down to touch down for landing. Stage one transonic. Stage one landing burn. And there we've had the first stage. Stage two stage. FTS is saved. First stage landing burn has begun. Let's watch as Falcon 9 touches down for landing. Landing leg deployed. Amazing view, Falcon 9 has touched down. This marks our 160th overall successful recovery of an orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy first stage landings. And we are just about a minute away from Sika 1, or second stage engine cutoff 1. That is where we will shut down this MVAC engine that you're seeing ignited at the moment. We will shut that engine down and allow the vehicle to coast with the payload until it reaches its targeted drop-off orbit. Now, 
just under a minute away from Seco 1 on second stage. As a reminder, the Aero C3 payload is still attached to Falcon 9 second stage. There's just a single engine burn for this mission. So we will have Seco 1. Thermal guidance. We will have Seco 1 allow the vehicle to coast, and then shortly afterwards will be deployment of the payload. I'm back, shut down. Nominal orbit insertion. And great news. We did watch as the MVAC engine was shutting down and also heard a good call out of confirmation of good orbit. Welcome back to the webcast for Aero C3 for our customer ISI, which lifted off from Vandenberg Space Force Base at 11.38 p.m. Pacific time. So far, we've seen a handful of successful milestones, including stage separation, startup and shutdown of our second stage engine, as well as the 160th landing of our orbital class rocket, including both Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy landings. Now, up next, we are awaiting the deployment of the Aero C3 satellite which is coming up here in just under 10 seconds from now. Payload separation confirmed. And there you can see live on your screen, the Aero C3 payload drifting away from Falcon 9's second stage. Now with that successful deployment, our webcast will come to a close. Thank you to ImageSat International, ISI, for entrusting us with today's mission, SpaceX's 61st and final launch of 2022. As always, thanks for tuning in and have a great new year. We'll see you all in 2023.